Welcome back to Info Ground, where we break down the hottest stories in the hip-hop world. Today, we're diving deep into academics' detailed breakdown of Young Thug's plea deal. It's no simple walk in the park, every condition of this deal is crucial, and failure to follow through could land him right back behind bars. We've got the full scoop, so let's get into it, Young Thug's legal saga has been one of the most talked about cases in recent hip-hop history, and as the YSL leader continues to navigate the complexities of the justice system, academics has finally dropped an in-depth breakdown of how Thug's plea deal works. But let's be real, this isn't just some quick settlement to get him off the hook. Every detail of this deal matters, and any slip-ups could send Thugger straight back to a cell. According to academics, the plea deal that Thug accepted comes with a maze of conditions that must be followed to the letter. While it offers him a chance to avoid a full-blown trial and potentially harsher consequences, it's clear that the terms are incredibly strict. It's not as simple as signing a few papers and walking away, Thug has to adhere to a set of legal obligations that are being closely monitored. From what academics revealed, this deal is built around several key requirements that range from regular check-ins with legal authorities to avoiding certain environments and individuals. One of the more intense aspects involves staying clear of anyone linked to gang activities. This could be particularly challenging for Thug, given his deep ties with YSL and the broader Atlanta rap scene. Any violation of these conditions could lead to immediate consequences, like finding himself right back in front of a judge, or worse, behind bars again. Another layer of the plea deal is the involvement of community service and rehabilitation programs. These elements are designed not only to help Thug reform, but also to show the courts that he's actively working to better himself and his environment. The deal has him participating in initiatives that could improve his image in the eyes of the law, but the pressure is on to ensure that he's truly sticking to these commitments. Academics pointed out that the legal team working on Thug's behalf is doing everything they can to help him avoid further jail time, but the courts are not playing around. Every small step is being watched, and even the smallest infraction could trigger a return to incarceration. This is where the stakes get even higher, Thugger is under constant scrutiny, and his every move, from his public appearances to who he associates with, will be dissected by legal eyes. Thug's situation has left fans on edge, wondering whether he'll be able to keep up with these demands. As academics put it, this deal is Thug's lifeline, but it's also a double-edged sword. He's been given a chance to stay out of prison, but that chance comes with some of the tightest restrictions possible. Essentially, one false move, and it's game over, the rapper's fans are rooting for him, hoping he can navigate this minefield of legal obligations while still keeping his career afloat. But the reality is, it's going to be tough. The deal's conditions, as academics outlined, are extensive and cover every facet of Thug's life, from his travel plans to the people he talks to. He can't afford to mess up, not even once. Let's check this out. Here's my personal opinion on, on everything with the Thug thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Thug got a tremendous deal. Like, we could have never expected something like this to happen. However, it's kind of a trick, right? By the way, we already seen one person on the YSL case who took a plea. They already got caught up and getting sent back to prison. So the possibility of you taking 15 with all these stipulations is kind of to set you up. But it's probably nothing that is gonna ever equate freedom. So Young Thug right now being free, that's the biggest thing. I know some of his fans think he beat the case. He definitely didn't beat the case. Beat the case means you got no stipulations. You know what I mean? I, listen, we were here last night with Rod. You shot to Rod Wave, shot to his whole team. His team is like, great. They talked about it, shot to Young Boy, because you know, they fuck with Young Boy. They're like, yo, listen, they were talking about when Young Boy did like his last big show, I think he was on some probation or some type of like stipulation release where it said he can't be around gang members. You know how you had to get around it? Essentially, a cop had to escort that nigga straight from, escort him from outside the arena to the stage and out. You know what I mean? Because, come on, you know these niggas. You really think that they're going to have a, a goddamn concert, no gang members going to be there. So they got to do all type of things to try to make precaution. We see what happened to 6 9 I know a lot of people don't like him, but shit, when they give you these like stipulations, you got to live up to it. You got to live up to it. 15 years. They backloaded 20 years in, 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 in prison, which means this is almost a setup for the meat mill situation that everybody knows so much. All right, you take the probation and then 
Yeah, they're gonna be like, you failed your piss test four times. We good? You failed your piss test four times. Oh, okay, you didn't report your travel this one time. Oh, okay, you was on live or, or somebody else around your crew went live and then you with this guy and that nigga was a co-defendant or something like that. So they gonna try to get you. So, you know, obviously that's why Doug wasn't trying to take that shit. That nigga just wanted to beat the shit, but them prosecutors was kind of like, but they're rookies, bro. And, I'm, and this is what I'm gonna say. I, I am glad he took it. Hey, the Young Thug thing is a win, but it's also a huge setup. If you gonna tell me that they gonna monitor him on a probationary basis for 15 years, can't be, can be in Atlanta, can't communicate with co-defendants or gang members, he can't rap about, he can't promote any music that has to do with what they believe is gang activity. But, yo, that nigga's always gonna talk about him and his niggas doing his thing. They might consider that gang activity. He might be like, yo, me and my niggas, like, yo, we going to the park getting lit. <laughs> we going to the club getting lit. They might be like, oh, no, you talking about the gang. So, you know, uh, you know, we celebrating right now because I think we could all see if you follow that trial at all. Whether you're a fan of Thug or not, you can see the pain. You can see the, yo, my niggas was going through it. Like, he gained a lot of weight. Everybody know Thug was not that weight. So we happy he got out. But we definitely got to be very cognizant of how this shit's going to play out. So I looked at that and I'm like... I'm glad he's out, but let's see how it's going to play out. You get what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of other people out on those cases or those type of pleas as well. I think the judge was hella fair. I think the judge was in their favor. The, ju the judge kind of made their whole thing. The judge put their whole thing out there already. These prosecutors as rookies. And this is why I was saying there's a fan page of Thug. Like, like oh, act, you said this. Bruh. Please, I don't, like, you know, you know, a fan gonna be a fan, but I don't want nobody to think that you about to go against the federal government or even the state government and think you about to spank them on some, oh, you think they're gonna be on some rookie shit like that. Bro, they fucked up the case 45 times. It should have been a mistrial. Even if he got convicted, he was gonna get off on appeal. 100%, no way, no how. The feds don't move like that. Look how the whole Memphis case moved with, with, with the dudes who killed off. Don't move like that. So, for everybody who like thug, you gotta like ride out truth, man. This shit is a, it's a cause for concern for a lot of situations. It's also worth noting that while this plea deal helps thug avoid the harsher sentences that could have come from a full trial, it doesn't erase the fact that the YSL leader is still facing serious consequences. The deal may keep him out of prison for now, but it's no guarantee of freedom if he can't meet every term. It's a tightrope walk and the stakes are as high as ever. In the grander picture, academics emphasized that this plea deal is a pivotal moment in Thug's life. It's not just about avoiding jail, it's about securing his future and proving that he's capable of turning things around. If he can meet the terms and stay on the right path, this could mark the beginning of a major comeback for the rapper. But if not, the legal hammer could come down harder than ever before. This breakdown by academics really puts into perspective how intense the situation is. It's not just about getting out of jail, it's about living under constant surveillance, where every misstep could be catastrophic. Thug's legal team has done their part by negotiating this deal, but now it's all on him to make sure he follows through. For the fans, it's a waiting game. Will Thug be able to stick to the rigid terms of this deal, or will he find himself back in the system? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, every move he makes from here on out is critical, and that's the breakdown of Young Thug's plea deal, straight from academics' detailed analysis. It's clear that Thugger's got his work cut out for him if he wants to stay free, and we'll all be watching closely to see how it plays out. What do you guys think? Can Thug pull it off, or is the deal just too tight to handle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to InfoGround for the latest updates. Until next time, stay tuned.